Hey, this is Judge Waits bringing you some hardcore TDM. Man, can we rush in hardcore TDM on these maps that we have in Call of Duty Ghosts? That seems to be the question. But before we get into that, I wanted to give a shout out to my man, Jesus Freak. He supplied me that opening clip there that you saw. Make sure you go check out that video. It's from a match where he got a KEM strike in TDM on that giant castle Lord of the Rings map. I just thought that was awesome. You know, I've seen people drop KEM strikes while playing Kill Confirmed or playing Domination. And usually, you know, they're not playing the objectives. They're just going for kills and they managed to pick that up. But to actually do that in TDM, man, I just thought that was really impressive, especially when you only have those 75 kills to go with. So go check out his video. Dude is just a beast. I know you're going to love his content. Also, too, speaking of shout outs, that opening music was from Lecrae. Now, you know me, I am more of a skillet, thousand foot crutch, red, deciphered down, disciple type of person. I like rock, but the more I am exposed to Lecrae, the more I am liking him. And I tell you what, I really appreciate, really like the messages that he brings to his songs. In particular, that song that I played for you called Chase That has a great message, kind of speaks to me and where I'm at with YouTube. You know, it's never going to be ultimately about hitting some kind of subscriber mark or hitting some kind of views per video or anything like that. You know, I'm going to strive hard and try for that. But at the end of the day, I have a more important goal. And of course, that is representing Christ. You know, hopefully that comes through in my videos. But enough about that. I wanted to get into the topic. And of course, I wanted to talk about rushing in hardcore TDM. I don't know about you, but like I said at the beginning, some of my friends have just been extremely frustrated with this game. And I think a lot of that frustration can be attributed just to the size of these maps. But I want to help you move around the maps. I know there are times that I will spend literally like a minute running around the map not being able to find anyone. That's why you see me cutting and slicing so much in my videos lately. Just there are so many dead spots and I don't want to show you anything unimportant or anything boring. But like I said, I want to help you move around the map. I want to give you a good class setup. So let's get right into that. As you can see, I am running the honey badger why the honey badger well it comes built in with a suppressor and i think a suppressor is key for playing hardcore tdm or tdm or any kind of game mode in particular i don't equip a gun without a suppressor period you know unless i was running a sniper rifle then i might not do that but i like staying off the mini maps staying off the satcom maps and everything like that so with having a weapon that has a suppressor built in that frees up an attachment for me so i like running a red Red dot like I've said in the past just so I can pick people off at a distance and then I also like running full metal jackets or it's called armor piercing in ghost armor piercing is a great attachment for a weapon it gives you triple penetration damage so normally when your damage gets lowered because you're shooting through walls or shooting at that guy up in that window your your damage gets knocked way down but if you put on the armor piercing attachment that actually jumps it up actually triples the damage that you do it also is super effective against vests if you shoot somebody with a vest it's going to be like they didn't even have it on so if you're playing with vests and somebody one shots you and you're like how the heck that didn't even do anything or anything like that it's probably because they have armor piercing attachment it also gives you 50% more damage if you're shooting equipment like an IMS or maybe a Vulture or something like that. And it also will give you 50% more damage if you're shooting at a Juggernaut. So definitely try out that attachment. Now, as far as my secondary, you know me, I do not run a secondary. I'd rather have an extra slot for a perk. So I will forego that and a tactical, and that gives me two extra points to put towards my perks. I do run an IED for my lethal. Those things are great to just throw down in high traffic areas when you're running around where the enemy is spawning. Usually you can get a free easy kill. They're also great to throw up in windows where somebody might be holding an area. You know, just throw it over a fence. Kind of reminds me of C4 without the trigger though, but definitely a great lethal to run in the enemy spawn. 
Now as far as perks, you definitely want to run sit rep. That's going to keep you from running into all these IEDs that you see hanging around. People love to throw those down. It's also going to help you see where people are camping at because a lot of times people will throw those in hallways or doorways, kind of protecting their rear. So if you can see those, you can get around them. Also too, you want to run dead silence. You do not want people hearing you. So the quieter you can be, the better. The more chance you're going to have to surprise people. And I'd also recommend running Amplify. If you can hear people around you, hear people up in buildings, that's going to help you get the drop on them. So those are three definite perks that you want to run. You also might want to run off the grid just to keep you off those pesky satcoms. And also ready up is a nice one point perk that helps you have an advantage when you're running around in the enemy spawn and you have to pull up to actually shoot somebody. If you don't want to run those two, you might want to run something like hardline or blind eye. But those are the perks that I choose. You know, remember to stay out of the middle of the map run around the outside of the map and try to use as much cover as possible. I know these maps are big, I know they're frustrating, but I hope this helps you out. Hope this helps you out for a stealthy type class. And no, sir, you cannot halo jump me. But let me know what you think about this. If you got any questions, make sure you leave them for me. As always, though, take care and God bless.